ECTV's Ron Boyden here back for another edition of our weekly video calendar taking an interactive look at uh, the week's events. It's sponsored by the Breadwater Savings and Loan, bringing you interviews, news, and the like from around the area. As we uh, take a look at uh, the Women's Freedom Center, there'll be a live BCTV webinar, the return of the Winter Farmers Market, an NEYT Latches Hatch Joint event. It'll be going up on VPR and plenty more. A reminder that if you're watching on YouTube, click uh, the annotations on in the bottom right corner of your YouTube video viewer. That'll make each of the links behind me a clickable link. So instead of listening to me chit chat, you can click any one of those buttons. It'll take you to an official organizer website. Get to the where's and when's on each of these details. All right, that's enough uh, pre-spiel here. Let's launch into it and start on this here Thursday, November 14th event, which means I should tuck my stomach in here so we can really get a look at Thursday. There we go. We'll start with BCTV where there's a live webinar. This is going to be uh, webcast from CCTV Channel 17, the PEG Public Access Station in Burlington. They're targeting nonprofits with an event uh, featuring use of video features on cell phones and uh, using it to promote your nonprofit in your region. Anybody can stop by BCTV's 230 Main Street Studios uh, at noon this here Thursday the 14th and check out the live stream. We'll also have a computer set up so you can email questions that'll be fielded live uh, by the hosts of this event. All right, from there uh, we'll move on here and take a look at this uh, Storytellers on a Mission event I'm cradling so delicately in my arms here. This is from The Hatch. It's a non-profit uh, cooperative of artists uh, and their sole goal is to help fundraise uh, using their performance art skills for other area nonprofits. Uh, the beneficiaries of this most recent event here, mm -hmm. if I can figure out how to point to it, is NYT, the New England Youth Theater, as they get set to host uh, five uh, artists and storytellers to tell their tales. It'll all be hosted by Tom Bodet and uh, produced by Rich Corson, who's uh, also produced some things you just might have heard of, like The Colbert Report and The Daily Show. The two of them sat down with Wyndham District 4 rep Mike Merwicki to talk about this event on an edition of Montpelier Connection in Studio. Let's roll the clip. The organization is called The Hatch, and uh, we pick a uh, beneficiary, if you will. And the beneficiary of this one is going to be New England Youth Theater, which is a great arts institution in, in Brattleboro. It serves a wide um, uh, swath of the community. Again, the event is Storytellers on a Mission from the Collective Art Nonprofit Fundraising Group, The Hatch. They'll be uh, kicking that off at 7 p.m. at the Latches Theater this coming Thursday, the 14th, and it all benefits the New England Youth Theater. From there, it's on to the 16th. That's a Saturday here in November. And we'll start by taking a look in this early block here with the uh, Women's Freedom Center, it's their annual craft fair as women from all around the area get to showcase their artisan skills. It'll be going on from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Brattleboro Union High School. And when we take a look at the interactive link in a moment here, you'll get a website where if you'd like to showcase some of your artwork as well, there's still time. Areas like film and art have notoriously and historically kind of been closed off to women. And I think it's really important to highlight how much talent there is, especially just in a place like Brattleboro. There's a huge amount of talent and there's a huge amount of female talent that I think it's really important to access and to highlight. And before we move on from Saturday, November 16th here, just a quick reminder that the Winter Farmers Market uh, is making its grand return to the uh, all glass gorgeous downtown building, the River Garden. It'll be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. each and every Saturday from now through March 30th of 2014. If you want to get all your usual farmers market goods you've grown accustomed to in the summer, it's now all here through the winter in downtown Brattleboro. All right, uh, from there we'll move on and head all the way down to the end of the calendar block here. Take a look at Monday, November 18th, and head over to Dummerston, where Archer Mayer will be uh, presenting and discussing his latest Joe Gunther mystery novel, Three Can Keep a Secret. Again, that's Monday, the 18th, set to kick off at 7 p.m. at the Dummerston Community Center. I came to the realization surrounding a table with 15 of my colleagues, or who knows how many, that I could probably be as ineffective and stupid alone. That does it for another edition of our weekly video calendar here. Thanks for checking in. Head uh, to youtube.com slash TV if you'd like to subscribe. Be the first to find out about each and every one of BCTV's video uploads throughout the week. Of course, we'll also sum up all that web content at week's end with a 15-minute broadcast known as 5.45 Live. It'll go live at 5.45 p.m. on BCTV Comcast Channel 8. We'll get a look at all the latest area headlines, upcoming events, and plenty more. We'll pack it all in, so check that out as well on cable. But in the meantime, we'll see you next Thursday for another edition of the calendar. Thanks to the Savings and Loan for their generous sponsorship, keeping uh, all these events going. And in the meantime, 
Thanks for watching.